Hey everybody, this is John, aka Chess Student, and welcome to the first video in the series on basic chess lessons. Uh, what we're doing with this series is I'm going to teach you how to play chess. And what I want to do is start out in this video by talking a little bit about the chess board itself and then talk about how you set the pieces up in the correct starting position to play a game of chess. So let's look at the board first. And we have here the pieces on the board. I'm going to go ahead and now that you've had a chance to see that and clear all the pieces off so we can talk about the board itself. There are three ways that the board is divided up, basically, that I want to talk about. The first are what we call ranks. These are rows. The red arrow is drawn through what we call the first rank. Okay? And just think of ranks as rows. So they are the horizontal rows on the chessboard. Only in chess we call them ranks. All right? Pretty simple, right? The next thing we have, designated by this red arrow, it's what we call a file. Just like a, a file folder, all right, on your computer or something, a file. And these are columns. Just remember that that files are the vertical columns on the chessboard. All right? So it's just that we call them files in chess. We don't call them columns or vertical, you know, something like that. We, we just call them ranks and then files. All right? So that's ranks and files. The third way is diagonals. All right, and it's called a diagonal for obvious reasons. There are many different diagonals on the chessboard. Uh, this red arrow represents one. These three circles represent a diagonal as well. Notice that all the squares on a particular diagonal are all the same color. All right, so in the long diagonal that you see with the red arrow, all of those are white or light squares, okay? Uh, there are 64 squares on a chessboard. 32 of them are dark, like the ones that are circled, and 32 of them are light squares. And they're always called dark squares or light squares. It doesn't matter what color they are. Always light and dark. So you notice on the red arrow diagonal, they're all light squares, and on with the diagonal indicated by the circled squares, those are all dark squares, all right? So all the squares on a, on a particular diagonal are going to be the same color. So that's ranks, files, and diagonals. That went a little quick, but once you think about it, that ranks are horizontal rows on the chessboard and files are vertical columns, then it's really easy. And diagonals are really easy because they're diagonal, okay? And they're called exactly what they are. The other thing about the chessboard that you want to keep in mind just starting out is, look at this square that I circled. The square that is in the lower right-hand corner of the board when you're looking at the board should always be a light square. If it's a dark square like this one there at the top, if, that, if it's a dark square like that in the lower right-hand corner, then that means you've got the board oriented wrong. And what you'll need to do is rotate the board before you set the pieces up. Rotate the board so that you have a light square in the lower right-hand corner of the board at all times. That way you know if you ever have a question, is the board turned the right way? All you have to do is look and make sure that that square is a light square and you're good to go. All right, so that's the basic, basics, basics of the chessboard, Okay. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is how do you set up the pieces to start the game? Well, what we're going to do is, one by one, put the pieces on the board, and I'll tell you how to what the piece is, is well, the name of the piece, and where it goes on the board. I'm not going to talk about how the pieces move and capture yet, because that deserves a video all by itself. But this video, we're just going to talk about where they go on the chessboard. So we'll start out with what we call the rook. And this is what the rook looks like. You see it there on the bottom corner. Uh, it looks like a little castle, but it's called a rook. R-O-O-K, rook. 
And each player has two rooks. There are two white rooks and two black rooks. And these are the squares you put them on to start out. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, they always go on these squares to start. Okay? So that's a good piece to start out with when you're setting up the board. The second piece to go on the board that we'll talk about is what looks like a horse or a horse's head. It's called a knight. Just like, you know, knights ride on horses, so it's easy to remember. I Remember, I told you these lessons are absolutely basic. <laughs> okay, these are for beginners, so I warned you. But anyway, the knights, each player also has two knights. There are two white knights and two black knights. And the knights go on the squares right next to the rooks. So see, we're starting at the edge of the board and working our way to the middle, the center, all right? So those are the knights. That's where the rooks go. That's where the knights go. The next piece, what we call bishops, and right here. It's called a bishop because it looks like the hat or the the headpiece that a bishop wears, all right? And so obviously, it's why we call them bishops. The bishops go, you guessed it, right next to the knights. Both players have, each player has two bishops at the beginning of the game for a total of four bishops total on the board. Now the next piece, I'm going to put the queen here for a second. The queen is probably one of the most, is probably the most powerful piece in chess. It has a lot of power. Now the question is, there are only two pieces, or two squares left on this rank, on each rank, to put the king and queen. So how do you know where the queen goes and where the king goes? Well, notice that the white's queen is is white, so it's it's a light color. Well, that means that the queen, the white queen, goes on a light square. So your queen, always remember that your queen goes on her color. See? If you're black, then your queen goes on a dark square. If you're white, then your queen goes on the light square. Always. No exceptions. All right? And that makes it easy as to where to put the king. The king goes right next to the queen. Now, the king is a very important piece. It's not the most powerful piece, but it is the most valuable piece. If your king is put in what we call checkmate, then it doesn't matter what else is happening on the board. If your king is in checkmate, you lose the game. The game ends immediately, no matter what else is happening. So because of that, the king is is the most important and most valuable piece on the board. You should keep your king safe at all times, and we'll get to that kind of thing later on. So these are the pieces that you see here, and this is how they're set up at the beginning of the game, the start of the game, before the first move is ever made. But these are not the only things that go on the chessboard. What else? Well, these little guys... They're called pawns. Each player starts the game with eight pawns. So there are 16 pawns in all, eight white pawns, eight black pawns. And they're very easy to set up. How are they set up? Well, they just go in front of the pieces like this. And you can set them up. And in order to save time, I'll do a little magic and put all the white pawns there at once. And that's how you do it. You just put the pawns on each square. Now, pawns are very, very special pieces. They have special properties because of the way they move and the way they capture and a couple of other things. We'll probably give them their own, very own video. We'll probably dedicate one whole video to pawns and how they move and capture and promote and things like that. So we'll, I'll see about that. Probably going to give pawns their own video. But that's it. That's how the board works. You've learned about the board, about ranks, files, diagonals, and how to orient the board correctly. You've learned about light squares and dark squares, and you've learned how to set up the pieces. Okay. That's it for the first video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
See you next time.